So it seems like it's already that time again to make some rage beats because Trippy Red just dropped Trip at night. And I mean, the album's, the album's crazy already. If you guys are new here and you don't know who I am, my name is Quentin. I make beats, I make music, and I make videos for you guys. And if that's anything you seem interested in, if you could do me a huge favor right now and go down and hit that subscribe button and also that like button just because it'll help push this video to more people like you that actually want to see the video. And also, if you guys want to stay up to date with what I do day to day, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Quentin Bobbitt. There's a link in the description, so you can just click it there if you want to find it. And one last thing before we start this video, if you guys like any of the sounds that I use in this video, from the one-shot kit, from the drum kit, any of the vocal templates like that, they're all available at QuintinBobbitt.com. And the link for that is always available in the description below. But let's jump in FL and actually learn how to do this. All right, so we got FL Studio pulled up here. And as you can tell, the melody is already pretty much finished. So we're just going to go ahead and break that down for you. So as you can see, the first plugin right here is called Surge. And if you guys don't know what this is, it's actually a free plugin and super fire. This, uh, this plugin was actually used a lot in the Playboy Cardi album, Whole Lot of Red. Um, I know a lot of these sounds were used in that album. So yeah, and I mean, it's free, so you might as well just grab it. But basically what I did here is, so we'll solo out this sound and we'll pull up the piano roll. First thing I did is I pulled this menu down right here. I went to view, scale highlighting, and I set the key of the song to A sharp minor. The reason I do this is when you do that, it'll set the key and it'll dark out all the notes that you don't want to use that are not actually in the scale. So for example, this would be A sharp, C, C sharp, D sharp, F, F sharp, and G sharp. That would be the scale for the song. And basically what I did here is I just started at the root note, which of course is A sharp. And I made this triad right here. And it looks a little big, but if you bring it down, you can see that all I did here was start at that root note, skipped one note in the scale, went to C sharp, skipped another note in the scale, went to F, and we brought it up. And then I made that triad. Then I went up and made this triad. And as you can see, these are the only two chords that I actually played in the entire loop. So I literally, I played those two chords and then I added these like notes up on top you can see right here then this little like accented note and then this part i'm gonna have to play it so i could really explain how like what this actually is but it's kind of like a transition just in the next chord so i'm gonna just stop talking and play this so you guys get to hear what it sounds actually you know what before we do that i'm gonna show you guys how i processed it which uh i lied there's no processing so let's hear the sound so yeah as you can see these notes are kind of like transitions in the next part this one like goes up and then this part goes down. So as you can tell, that's actually really quiet and it kind of just sits in the background. And the reason for that is I just didn't like that sound too much. So I opened up this sound in Omnisphere, which is called Broken Square Lead, which is actually used in the new Trippy Red song, Holy Smokes. And I just copied that pattern that we made with that first plugin and played it right here. And there's actually a bunch of processing here. I EQ'd the hell out of it, put this gross beat on right here, and then another EQ. And uh, this is what that sounds like. Yeah, boom. And then after that, we went on to the lead, which is actually the same exact sound. And the only difference here is when we went to the processing, the huge thing was I just EQ'd it a little bit different. So there's more high end in the sound. And then I also added a delay. And uh, this lead kind of drives the song. It's definitely like the most heard sound. And uh, let me just play it for you guys. And then of course I had to stack that with a serum sound. And the cool part about this lead is it has glide on. So it glides from one note to the other. So as you can see, these notes are like overlapping. It goes into the next note and like overlaps a little bit. And the reason for that is because it creates this effect where it like glides into the next note. And uh, this is what that sounds like. And then the last sound we have here is just a bell from my one shot kit. Or I guess it's a pluck. But uh, I just played this pattern right here. And then, uh, yes, that's the uh, that's the whole part of the melody right there. If I play everything together, we ended up having the loop sound like this. So, yeah, I think it's time for the drums. So, of course, what we're going to do first is go over here and split this pattern by channel. And you just do that by right clicking, right clicking and hitting split by channel. Then we're going to drag everything out there. And then we're just going to loop it for eight bars. And then I'm going to make a new pattern. And we're going to call it drums. And we're going to go ahead and drag that out. Bend it over for eight bars. Boom. And then we're going to head over to my drum kit. Available at quintababa.com. It's called Full Circle. And uh, 
it's the most fire drum kit out right now. So if you uh if you're looking for any drums like that, especially like rage type beat drums, that's what you're gonna want to grab. So we're gonna start out with a clap. And I like this one right here because it has that like high end to it. And I'm just gonna use my default clap pattern. We're gonna grab a hi-hat. And then I'm just gonna fill each two steps and then we're gonna like make a pattern to it. And I'm gonna set this magnet right here to one third step just so we can do some cool rolls. Yeah, I like that. And uh, something I noticed in Rage Beats is the hi-hat pattern is super repetitive. So we're literally duplicating that over for the rest of the eight bars. And then... Yeah, I like that a lot. So now we're going to get a snare. Use this one called Plug. Yeah, so I like that. Super simple. Duplicate that over. And then I'm just going to make it a little bit different right here at the end. Bring it way up. And each of these are just going to come down as it goes. And then we're going to try something a little cool with the open hats here. So we're going to have this one just on the first hit. I need one a little longer. So we're going to grab this one, make it a little softer, and then I'm going to adjust the hold. And I'm just going to have the attack like this, so now it sounds like this. And I'm just going to turn it up a bit. Turn that up a bit more. And then we'll just duplicate that over as well as this one and then i'm going to be using this 808 for my kit called death race and it sounds like this so it's an 808 with like a hard kick in the beginning and then a really long hold but what we're going to do to fix that is just pull this uh this jump start length up a bit we're going to go to the envelope settings bring down that release hold all the way up and then i'm just going to have the attack like this so now the 808 sounds like this we're just going to bring that volume up and we're going to track it out Actually, we're going to track all the drums out, so I'm going to drag down on the drums. And then we're just going to go to some random mixer track. Uh, let's go to 10, hit Control shift l All right, so now we're just going to make a pattern, and we already know the root note, which is A sharp. And I believe it goes up to C sharp. So it's literally just like this. We get to turn that down. And then I'm also going to add a kick before we do anything else to the 808 pattern. And we're just gonna turn that kick all the way up. Also bring up the velocity, and then we're gonna bring it down to A so the kick's a little deeper and beefier. All right, so now we're gonna actually try and beef up this 808 pattern and just make it sound cool. The key here is I'm trying to like do some cool slides and stuff. So I'm just gonna have this slide down. Yeah, there we go. So I like that, but I kind of want some distortion on this. So we're gonna add a fruity fast distortion, I think, and uh, just bring this mix down. Oh yeah, this is fire. There we go. Then we're going to route this uh, kick. And we're just going to finish the actual kick pattern. Yeah, I like that. We duplicate that over. Cool, so now I'm just going to look for like some random like little effects we could just sprinkle up on top. Uh, so let's see what we can find.
Yeah, so I actually like that a lot. Alright, so I like this so far. What we're going to do is split by channel on the drums. And we're just going to drag this out here. And we're just going to try and arrange the beat a little bit now. I added like this little gunshot effect like right before the drop. I basically cut out the melody except for like one part of it. And then we have the drums drop right here. And then for the second part, all we're going to do really is duplicate it over and just pull something out. Let's see. So we'll pull out this bell for sure. Maybe this Maybe like... All right. So last thing we're going to do here is just for like this bridge right in between, I'm going to make a new pattern. I'm calling it bass. And we're going to drag that in there. I'm just going to try and find like a hard bass. So I'm going to go into Serum. I'm going to go through some kits, see if we can find something cool. So all we're going to do here... Perfect. And then all we got to do is just duplicate that over twice. And we have a little outro at the end here. And that's the whole beat right there. So now what we're going to do is the fun part, freestyling. And what I did here was pulled up my vocal mixing preset volume two. I'll have the link in the description for that. There's an FL Studio Waves version, an FL Studio Stock version, and then we got the Pro Tools version, which is my favorite one. But we're going to be working in FL anyways, so uh, might as well just do it here. All you got to do if you want to like freestyle is, of course, grab this preset. You would apply it by hitting file, uh, open mixer track state, and you would just use the uh, the FST that you download. And you're going to go up here and add your mic. Mine's input one from the Scarlett 2i2. And then you'll just uh, turn your gain down a little bit and you're set. So let's freestyle. So that's enough of that i hope you did learn something i hope you enjoyed how the beat turned out and if you did if you guys could do me a favor hit that like button that's about it for now all the sounds the vocal preset everything like that will be available at quintababa.com the link is always in the description below make sure you follow me on instagram but yeah i can't think of anything else so that is everything i'll see you guys in the next video Deuces.